Welcome to the Matriarchal Facilitator. So we have another message um, from the Lord. And this message is healing. Healing. Let's pray. Father God. Lord, we come before your throne of grace. And mercy, Lord God, saying thank you, O Lord. Because you are a healer, Father God. Yes, you are. Lord, we are looking to be restored, Father God. And we know that you can do it, Lord God. So we submit ourselves to you, Father God, for healing to take place. Total healing in Jesus' name. Total healing, Lord God. I say a special prayer for those right now, Lord God, that are hurting, Lord God, that need to be healed, Lord God. That inner child, Lord God. That inner hurt, Lord God. That struggle, Lord God. Lord God, I ask right now, Lord God, for total healing in Jesus' name. You are worthy, Father God, and I know you can do it, Father God. I thank you and I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, I pray right now for children, Lord God. Lord, watch over our children, Lord God. Keep a hedge of protection all about them, Lord God, as they go to and fro, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, I pray for families everywhere, Lord God, right now in Jesus' name. Heal hearts, set minds free in Jesus' name. Father, I submit myself to you. Have your way. Use me, O oh Lord. And I be so ever careful to give you all the honor, all of the praise, and all of the glory. In your son Jesus name I do pray. Amen. Healing. Mm, thank you Lord. We have James 5 14 through 18. Are any among you sick? They should send for the church elders who will pray for them and rub olive oil on them in the name of the Lord. This prayer made in faith will heal the sick. The Lord will restore them to health and the sins they have committed will be forgiven. So then confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you will be healed. The prayer of a good person has a powerful effect. Elijah was the same kind of person as we are. He prayed earnestly that there would be no rain and no rain fell on the land for three and a half years. Once again, he prayed and the sky poured its rain and the earth produced its crops. We also have 1 Corinthians 12 and 9. One and the same spirit gives faith to one person. While to another person, he gives the power to heal. We have Mark 5 and 30. And immediately, Jesus, perceiving in himself that power from him had gone out, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? The subject for today is healing. The Lord wants you to receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. He wants to bind and close up those wounds. He wants to restore to you your health. He wants you to be renewed and rejuvenated to be able to go forth 
in that thing in which he is calling you to. And healing is a part of that. Receive your healing today in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it. It is yours. Receive it by faith, my brother, my sister. Receive healing in Jesus' name. That is going to give you the power that you need to operate in your home as well as your mind and life. That healing is a restoration power to you where you will be able to conduct yourself as Christ has called you to conduct yourself. But healing must take place. Receive the healing of the Lord in Jesus' name. Be restored, my friend. God is faithful and he is just and he will not forget about you. So do not forget about yourself. Receive healing in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. I'm believing for you that you have already received your healing in Jesus' name. We call it done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We call it done in Jesus' name. Go forth, my brother. Go forth, my sister. Have that life that God said you can have. Live that life that God said you can live in Jesus' name. Your health be restored unto you in Jesus' name. I pray this message builds you up in your most holy faith. Know that God loves you on today, and so do I. Until we see each other again, be blessed.